first time Jasmine appeared on my show, she was an out of control teen who drank regularly, used drugs, dropped out of school, and lived a very dangerous lifestyle. Today, she's back with an update. But before we get to that, let's take a look at her first appearance. Yeah, I'm out of control, and I love it. I like to get messed up. I have done a lot of drugs. I've tried heroin. I've smoked a lot of pot. I've done a lot of shrooms, popped a lot of pills. I've had alcohol poisoning twice, and they told me the third time I come in there, I'm not going to make it. Yeah, I'm just a teen who's having fun. I've had sex with 24 guys and 11 girls. I've had quite a few pregnancy scares, and I had a miscarriage at four and a half months. I like what I'm doing now. I mean, I like to I'm not even gonna lie. I'm only 16, come on. I get to get away from everything that's happened to me, get away from my past, get away from everything bad that's gonna happen in my future. Yeah, I hate my mom because she's a bitch. She doesn't care about me, she doesn't support me. She wants me for the money that she gets every month. Mom, I like to get messed up and you can't stop me because I'm not gonna listen to that thing you have to say. I mean, it's, it's, it's shocking. Yeah. What do you, you tell me, what do you do when <clears throat> your child is acting that way? I've tried to bring her home. I've tried talking to her. I've tried sending her with other people to live with them because of her behavior. I've got a three-year-old daughter and my grandson in the house, and I have another daughter in the house, and I can't have her behavior around them. Um, you know, I mean, I, I've, I just. Why do you think she's acting this way? Um, we've had a long life. Um, I was on drugs for a long time. I've been clean now for almost six years. Thank you. Um, she saw a lot when I was going through those things. And, and I know that. This is all of your fault. Jasmine, all of it. you are making you your own my choices. You ruined You ruined everything. Jasmine, I didn't have you are making these choices. You're you are your going room. to get help. Are you kidding me? You are going me? to come home. I know. I'm not going to come home. Six years. You are going to get some help. help. No. Enough's enough. No. If you don't get help now me. and stop doing this, I don't need I'm help. done. You're the one that done. needs help. Are you kidding Jasmine, me? Jasmine, no. I watched this tape and I see, you know, you're very upset with your mom. And I understand that you saw your mom go through some bad stuff being a drug addict, right? She ruined my whole childhood. Are you kidding me? But I didn't have a mom. Well, your whole childhood's not over yet, though. I'm sh sure she made some terrible mistakes. Um, your mom... She was addicted to meth for years. She had sex with men for drugs while you were in the house, right? I don't even know who my mom is. All I remember her is someone strung out on drugs. That is what I remember. I don't remember the last time she showed me that she cared for anything. And when you, when you say that, you remember your mom um, strung out on drugs, that can't be a pleasant memory, right? No. So. My thing is, then why do you want to go down that same road? My mom was addicted to drugs. She stayed in her room for really long periods of time, so, like while we didn't have any food or anything. She didn't even have the decency to fill out a paper for school for free lunch. They had to feed me crackers. I found needles on her carpet. I, I walked in on, on her doing a drug deal with a bunch of guys watching a porn? I was 11 years old. I didn't have a mom at all, all right? I am the way I am right now because of her, because of the mistakes that she made, because of everything I saw and everything I was put through. I am exactly how I am because of her. Who, who is this? Who financially who this? supports us? That is my sister. Hi. Come on up. <laughs> I just want her to get help. I just want, I really just want her to get help. I want her to stop doing what she's doing. That's all. Financially okay, supports what you know okay? what you have to do but with anything, Jasmine? If you hate him so much, then why are you letting him be a part of your life? If you hate him so because much, then why do you let him get to you? Because mom chooses him over me, and he, she chose him over you, over her children. Her children are supposed to come first. But no, <sighs> she's so messed up in the head that she chooses a man! Jasmine, how do you oh, have any say so over who's messed up in the head when you're doing the things that you're doing? I want you to get help and I want you to come home. 
She misses you so much. Your little sister was so excited to come here so she could just see you. How do you, how can you tell me to get Jasmine, help when you need help yourself? Jasmine, I'm fine, I don't need help. I'm okay. I love you. How can you, you choose a man help. over me though? I'm not, I don't get it. I'm no. not. What did I do wrong? I'm not, I'm not. Don't touch Please, me, stop, stop. don't stop. touch me. You need to get some help. I want you to come home. We all just want you to come home. I don't see how this is gonna get resolved on this show, right here, right now, right today. I think we do definitely have one troubled young lady, and I think you need help. And honestly, I know you, you're saying you don't want help, and you don't want your mom, and you don't want your sister. I just think that your vision's really clouded right now. And all I'm asking you, let me get you some help, take a chance, check it out, and go with it from there. Because if you don't, I, honestly, listen to me. Jasmine, I'm not your mom, I'm not your sister. I'm honestly somebody just trying to help you out. All I'm saying is if, if you don't get some help, if you don't turn things around, you're gonna screw up your whole life. And you still have, you're so young enough that you can change it all around, you can turn it around, and you can have a great life. So I'm offering the help, I can't make you take it, but it's there for, for you whenever you want it. The offer is out there, it'll be standing, it'll be waiting for you, that's all I can do for you, yeah. all right? Yeah. And if and when you're ready, you call me and we'll take care of you. That's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I hope you take it. Uh, Jasmine, when, you know, we did that show a very long time ago, and when you look <laughs> back at that, what, uh, what, run, what runs through your mind? You know, I, I blamed everybody else, and, and I, I didn't take any responsibility for my own actions, you know? Yeah, but uh, you know what? I'll say this, Jasmine. Me watching that, you know, we've done shows with uh, other young women and young men that, you know, same age, that were troubled and getting all kind of things. But I really felt that you were very articulate and well-spoken about why you were doing it and the troubles that you uh, were encountering because of what you saw with your mom. So, you know, I think it's understandable that you ended up in a bad place after uh, seeing everything that was going on in your life. What do you, what do you remember about being on stage? Um, I remember I was very angry. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I felt, you know, like I was being attacked. Like, it was, like, all my fault. Now, I, I'm told that after the show that you reached out to us. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I actually reached out to you guys about uh, anger management, <laughs> which is funny because I know you guys don't do that. Um, and your guys' offer of treatment still stood, which, um, you know, looking back, I, I should have, taken that <laughs> what's happened since you've been on the show because you know I, I you know I'm looking back and I'm trying to think that had to be 2009 or 2010 right yeah <laughs> and you know so that was 12 13 years ago you're you're 28 years old now what has happened in all those years uh well a lot uh so I I met um my kids as dad and I'm still with him. Uh, you know, I struggled with addiction uh, for years. And then I, I, I ended up uh, going to rehab for 30 days. I, I completed that. And then uh, I relapsed. And, and then I found out I was pregnant. And so um, I got clean. And... Uh, <laughs> thanks. Thank you. Um, Very happy to hear I, that. Yes. Um, I had my first son. Tyler, he's awesome. Um, and then I started working. Um, six years later, I had my second son, and um, I've been sober for nine years now. Well, very good. We like that. <laughs> so the one thing that we we do with this show, Jasmine, is that especially somebody like yourself who <laughs> is a success story, coming from a very rough time in your life. We, we really like those people who are a success to come back and talk to the, maybe somebody who might be watching who's you know, 12, 13, 14 years old, 
who maybe is going through the same things that you did 13 years ago, what would you say to them? Um, you know, at 16, um, I, you know, I thought that I, I, I was grown and I knew everything. And, you know, I thought the adults in my life didn't know what they were talking about. And, um, you know, I just, you know, I want to say that, you know, there are people out there that are wanting to help and do want the best for you. And, you know, I mean, I know from experience, you know, I hit rock bottom and I, I didn't see a way out. And, um, you know, change is possible. And, and just know that there are people out there. Yeah. Well, listen. Uh, a couple things. I, I, one, I'm really, truly happy you got rid of those lip rings. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we're really happy that you turned your life around. You got two boys. You're in a relationship. You've been sober for nine years. That's no small feat. We congratulate you, and we wish you all the luck in the world, Jasmine. Thank you so much. Thank you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.